Hello there guys and gals, welcome back to another title update, achievement season is in full swing and we're going straight away with Tony and Clyde, this has now been updated to 3000 gamer score which is always a nice little uh, yum yum bit of handy to have in your achievement hunting days and ways. So what have we got then, we got 6 new achievements and Basically, they are very easy and it should only take us, it should take around less than 10 minutes. So, we have to dodge 1 bullet, 10 bullets and 50 bullets just by rolling towards them. That's with the left trigger. Killing uh, Bradley, which is the first boss on both easy and normal difficulty. They don't stack, so we'll have to do um, uh, two small playthroughs. And clearing a stage with a double barrel in a loadout. And clearing a stage with a dual croft in our loadout. So... What we're going to do first then, make sure that difficulty is set to easy peasy. Go down and go to loadout, press the A button. Now, if, like me, the double barrel, um, which would be the first loadout to unlock, doesn't unlock, um, what we're going to do, and I'm going to show you anyway, it saves editing and uh, some potential confusion, but if the double barrel is still locked as it is, what we're going to do, we're just going to play and kill basically just the first enemy in chapter one. So go to story mode, go to chapter one here. You look like a guy that I used to know. But now we're gonna shoot you in your face. And uh, yeah, so uh, uh, so please excuse the voice. It, it's a hangover voice. Um, I'm not quite there. So if you can't remember what to do, you can press the, it's obviously the left stick to move, right stick to aim around, Y button to reload. And the right bumper, I was using the right bumper to both shoot and to knife slash when you get up close to enemies. So, that's just easier rather than pressing the right trigger and right bumper. I found it easier for me. Left trigger to dodge, remember, this is very important as we kill the enemies as we go through. So, constantly keep bashing the left trigger. And, like I said, with the 50 dodge bullets, you can... Um, just get it on this guy if you want, but you'll get it eventually anyway, just by getting to the boss twice. So, that is what I always do then. Keep smashing and spamming the left trigger, and also keep spamming the right button as well. Keep your finger tightly on that right bumper. Um, but, as you've just seen then, so we did unlock, after just killing the first three enemies there, we did eventually kill, um, unlock the double barrel uh, loadout. So, we quit the main menu here, make sure to go to your loadout, and make sure that the double barrel is uh, is basically your loadout, then we can go back to chapter 1, making sure that it is on easy, and then we can begin. You don't actually have to use the shotgun if you don't want, um, I end up just sticking with the Uzi right here. So, like I said again, make sure to be spamming the left trigger to always be dodging, because you basically become invincible for a short period of time, which would be mega handy in real life as well, to be fair, wouldn't it? Uh, but like I said, oh, and... Um, yeah, right bumper to shoot, always. Because um, even if you get up close to an enemy and you just keep spamming the right bumper, you'll stab him anyway. So it's just, I found it a lot easier. So here we go then, coming up through this room, shoot these two guys. As we go through this next door, there's a couple of guys on the right. So remember, left trigger to keep dodging. And, you know, my aim is just, my aim is genuinely worse than trying to take a whiz at any point in the day, uh, in the toilet, to be honest. So, um, if you can, try and get up close to the enemies, if possible. Give them a little stabby, stabby across the old eyelids. <laughs> You've got no eyelids left. <laughs> now you're going to look unattractive to other females. Um, go through the right, up through these next couple of sets of double doors and doors. There's about five or six enemies in here, so again, remember to keep dodging, but this is where our first checkpoint is. Uh, apparently you can slice enemies through doors, which again, that would be another big handy uh, thing in real life. Now what I do here, I actually reload the level here. Um, it just, honestly, I just found it easier. The enemy should now be disappeared. And for this next part, this is basically the end of the level, but you've got to be quite careful. Don't go full in steaming barrels, because you'll die pretty quickly. Uh, let them sort of come towards you as you sort of sneak about in this area. Of course, keep dodging uh, as much as you can, but there's a couple of enemies with a good couple of shotguns. And as we all know, a shotgun blast to the ass probably hurts quite a bit, uh, as Jason Statham once did. Yeah, you don't want a shotgun in the ass, not at all. So again, just keep hiding out here, let them sort of come towards you. Uh, again, just keep dodging, keep firing. As soon as the bit of firing has stopped, there's only one guy left, and he is to the left of this truck. So go to the left, shoot this guy dead, 
Nah. And now we should have the double, uh, the dual croft should now unlock for us. But what we're going to do is head to the right. The stage will be cleared. And that should get us the first couple of achievements here. So we should now have cleared the stage with the double barrel in our loadout, which is the make them fly achievement. And again, you can have a look if you want, but you should, depending on, if you played the game before, you might have unlocked already unlocked the three achievements for dodging up to 50 bullets by rolling towards them. If not, we'll get that in the next couple of minwits. So, on to chapter 2. Now, you can actually just roll past these bunch of enemies and go straight for the boss, which is what we're doing. He's basically very close to the beginning of Sons of Subversion Part 1. So, let's go to the left. We're going to shoot this guy. We're going to go through the right-hand side door here. Again, always remember to left trigger the dodge, dodge, the dodge, dodge. Go through the right door. Kill this guy dead. And then kill this guy dead as we go through the right door. Go up. Kill this guy if you want, or you can just keep going past him. And here is where the boss is then. So we get a checkpoint just in case we die. But the easiest way to do this is, as we've been doing, just keep rolling towards him. Keep spamming the left trigger and keep spamming the right bumper. What we're trying to do is actually melee him to death. Because you, he, you, you'll you actually damage him more by meleeing, uh, meleeing him rather than uh, just shooting him. So it's a lot easier, but just keep spamming the left trigger, keep spamming the left trigger, and then keep getting as close as you can to him. Of course, it does get quite intense on screen. Oh, there's the dual croft, by the way, which is now just unlocked. And that'll be beating Big Bradley Bald Bag. Bald Bag is what I just said then. On easy. So, so that is Bradley done. We've cleared the stage with a double barrel. So what we've got left now is for killing Bradley again on normal difficulty and clearing a stage with the dual croft in our loadout and of course depending on the bullets uh, you may have the matrix for achievement as well for dodging 50 bullets by rolling towards them so difficulty of course set it to normal make sure that our loadout is now on the dual craft point 45 that's very important of course then we go to story mode go to sense of version part one which is chapter two of course if you didn't realize your little health bar is basically the um ammo jacket in the bottom left hand corner just in case you didn't know but we should now be on normal and we should have the dual craft in our loadout. Again, don't have to use it if you don't want. But we're just going to go to the same place. So right through this door, kill this guy, through the right, and then up. And of course it's going to give us the uh, another checkpoint. And again, even though it is normal, uh, <laughs> bald bag head, look, kind of looks like a skeleton. But we are doing the same tactics, it's just left trigger, keep dodging as quick as you can, and just keep trying to melee him to death with the right bumper button. It's honestly the easiest way that we're going to do this. But that will be the end of it then, so I actually unlock all three achievements, uh, including the 50 bullets dodging here as well. But that is the next title update that done then, guys and gals. So it was fun, it was easy. But we had to do quite a bit of work this time, so that is what made it more enjoyable. Achievement season is off with a bang. Cruise Brothers should be coming up soon. Currently at this time, at the time of recording, the Cruise Brothers next title update, the achievements are not out yet, uh, but that'll be out soon. So there we go then, guys and gals. Another cheeky easy 1K in 10 minutes. You just can a beat it, can you? So, big shout out there to DCF Studio for providing another fun title update for us. But I shall see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big love.